Good morning from Prague in the Czech Republic. You know, there are many things I love about traveling. For example, discovering historic buildings, picking up presents for the folks back home, checking out the local culture, checking out traditional local foods. Well, actually, actually these are Hungarian, but checking out food. But then there are some parts that I really, really don't like. Like, for example, sorry, like, for example, all the crowds. <laughs> But when I'm traveling, I like to kind of get away from those crowds and get off the beaten path a little bit more. So let me share with you what we're going to be doing here, spending two days in Prague, in the Czech Republic, as far away from the crowds as we can possibly get. This is one of the local coffee shops that you can get to. It's like 10 minutes walk out of the main area where you've got the touristy squares and the bridges and the kind of the, everything you see in the postcards that all the tourists flock to. You're gonna get some local Czech food and hopefully a very strong coffee. Still early. <laughs> If you're looking for markets in Prague, now of course you can go to the ones right in the city centre which get pretty slammed, there's a few markets around the central square. Don't go to those, walk about 15 minutes down the river, head south and every Saturday morning you'll find this brilliant farmer's market with, there's a flea market here, great food, great drinks, cool place to get a snack and then sit by the river and have something to eat. Is this a sign for a Segway zone? What? Where? This one here. I think it is. Can't see any Segways though. This area, this is called the Mala Strana, forgive the pronunciation, but it's on the west side of the river. So if you come across the river, head a little bit further south from the main tourist areas. It's lovely, the trams come down here, really good restaurants, bars, cafes, and not too busy at all. Look at it, this is a Saturday mid-afternoon and there's not a lot of people here. Whereas the difference is this, and this is the Charles Bridge behind me. This is one of the most touristy places in Prague. So you can see all the people going to and from. It's basically this one path that goes from one side of the city across to the other. And this bridge is the point in the middle where everybody kind of crosses the river. It's very pretty, don't get me wrong, but this is where all the people are. Normally takes about five minutes to walk across the river, I reckon on this bridge, maybe about half an hour. Here's another good place to maybe come and see but very quickly or avoid if you want to avoid the tourists again. This is what they call the Lenin Wall. Lenin. This is the Lenin Wall as in John Lennon and this was first put up here or well, the graffiti was first actually drawn on here to kind of commemorate the death of John Lennon in the 80s. Been painted over, repainted, painted over, repainted. The graffiti's kind of stayed here ever since. Interesting fact though, John Lennon never visited Prague. It's very pretty, don't get me wrong, and anything that makes a tribute to the fantastic John Lennon I think is a great thing, but very busy, very busy. Look at it. It's lunchtime. One of the things that's really impressed me here in Prague has been the food. This is Leica Halava, or Clear Head. Bad pronunciation, I'm sure, so apologies to any Czechs watching this. This was the first vegetarian restaurant that ever opened up here in Prague, but actually the Czech restaurants that we've been to so far, I've actually found have been really vegetarian friendly. Meat's obviously a big part of the cuisine here. I mean, pork's eaten a lot as well, especially pork knuckle you can get on most menus. Um, beef goulash as well is another one that's eaten a lot here, but quite often you can find vegetarian versions, like a vegetarian goulash and a lot of soups, which is what I'm hanging for right now.
Got to get the camera, of course. <laughs> You're looking for another good area for breakfast. This area is called Carlin. There's a few restaurant places. This is Forum Carlin. There's a place called Eska here. And like the coffee, you know, I was moaning about the coffees in the UK recently, but the coffees in the Czech Republic, man, they're good. Totally not busy, this is like Sunday, it's kind of the height of breakfast time. We just walked straight in, staff were friendly, gave us a table. No tourists, brilliant. Well, no tourists apart from us. As with the very popular documentary The Hunger Games, Prague is also separated into several districts and this is one of the parks which is located in between District 6 and 7. It's right on top of the hill. Awesome views over the city like you can see behind me here and it's just, just a great way to get away from the tourists. Seems like it's just locals here hanging out, having something to eat and rollerblading. The Winged Lion Memorial here in Prague. This is actually here to commemorate all the efforts that the Czechoslovakian pilots, um, loads of them, over two and a half thousand who flew in the Second World War as part of the Royal Air Force between 1939 and 1945. Not sure if you know, but actually there are a lot of Czechoslovakian pilots who flew as part of the Battle of Britain, the great battle in 1940, basically between the Royal Air Force and the German Luftwaffe, which made a massive difference to the shape and the direction of the Second World War. This memorial is kind of, if you go over the Charles Bridge and you just take a right before you go up the hill to the main castle here in Prague, this memorial is down here. And yeah, if you're an aviation fan like me and you're visiting Prague, well worth a visit just to come down here and pay your respects to all the men and women who flew and fought to give us the lives that we have today. You can also hire the little pedalos down here on the river but we're definitely not going to do that. That would be a really pathetic and touristy thing to do, right? Ladies. We don't want to get these ducks. Don't oh yeah, don't hit the ducks. I give that a 50-50 chance of falling off. Well that's it for our time in Prague now. I hope you found those travel tips useful. If you've got some tips of your own, stick them in the comments below. I'd like to know what your travel tips are. If you're new to the channel and you just found this video on the off chance, um, be sure to subscribe. There's a bunch of travel coming up over the next few weeks. Heading back to England uh, tomorrow, well today actually, to start doing some filming around the Farnborough Air Show. So lots of aviation content coming up. Give us a like if you enjoyed that. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, we're going to enjoy the rest of our time here in Prague and I'll catch you again soon. Woo! Good timing! Hello.